Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Pisces, my baby shocks. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. If you don't fit, don't make it. All right. Um, this is going to be a spiritual reading, so it's not going to be like a normal reading. So regardless of how the cards come out, they're going to be more energy than anything. Okay? I mean, the major arcanas, you know, it's not going to be about, per se, people. There will be outside influences. That's going to be the theme of this reading. The outside influences that may be trying to prevent you from moving forward. I see some kind of energy here that wants to degrade you, humiliate you, um, and <laughs> because you fended them off, okay? It, it, it's like what I'm feeling here is that it fixed it, it broke your heart but fixed your vision because of the three of swords and the page of swords here okay um it also allowed you to see who was possibly stalking or spying on you even if it's just at an energetic level <coughs> empress energy I, I feel like somebody has been trying, something, not somebody, has been trying to keep you in the Three of Swords energy. Heartbreak, pain, loss. And I'm getting gin energy here. So if you don't know what that is, look it up. I think it's spelled D-J-I-N-N. -N. Yeah, you're finding out about this now. And it, and it, you might be having dreams that are keeping you awake at night. But when you are asleep, Pisces, those dreams are very, very real. Scary. I mean, I'm, I'm getting Freddy Krueger energy here. So, I, I feel like, you know, it's, it's almost like you're afraid to go to sleep. But Pisces, you gotta understand this is where, this is where you harness your power because dream state is the next state of, of consciousness. So, as you hone your power, even if you're not a badass, you can still control this energy. This is what this energy is afraid you're going to find out. They're afraid that you're going to find out that even though they could barrel through others and they could get through your family and they could get through, you know, others' energy, You've got the power to stop them. Queen of Swords in that ass. I'll smack you and put you in the back with the others. And I'll do it with love. This is the part, cause, cause see, this is this is what your whole life has been preparing you for. Is unconditional love, even for your. You don't have to like them. I don't like them. But Pisces, you are, are, are like wrestling a lion to the ground with your love. Even if somebody, you know, don't see that for what it is right now. It might seem like you're Duck, Pisces, and, and but whatever this is that you let go of with love, or maybe even um, 
didn't see. Because I do feel like maybe you were over here doing something else. And you didn't see this coming. You do now. I'm getting that sun. It's by Dokken. I'll put it in the box below. But I'm only going to put the lyrics because it's a scary video. So it's called Dream Warriors by Dokken. D-O-K-K-E-N. It's an old rock song. And like I said, I'm getting Freddy Krueger vibes here. An energy outside yourself trying to impede itself upon your dreams and feast on your nightmares. Like I said, it, I, I'm going to have to put like a trigger warning or something on this reading because it's, it's, it's what keeps you awake at night. But you, you can't run from it. You have to face it. And you have to do it with strength and courage. So you can tame the beast, defeat the beast, whatever it is that this is haunting you. Because I feel like it's haunting you in your dreams and giving you nightmares. You will end it. Taking a leap of faith here, and the cold hard truth and the facts is that you have the power, Pisces. You have the power to knock this thing out. It's been with you long enough. I'd say for lifetimes, for generations. And you ready to blow shit up? Because you're finding out what and who and how this is. You're, you're understanding that there is more to this story than you even knew. All right, page one, Nine of Swords. Is it scary? Perhaps. But perhaps for some of you, you were ready for this because you, you've been preparing for this this entire lifetime. Maybe from childhood. So, whatever this is, Pisces, you knew it was coming. Page of Swords. You had a heads up. Page of Swords, Page of Wands, of who and what this is is it was a secret by a king of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius this was somebody who was hell bent on making you pay for something that wasn't even your fault there's Sag there's Aries there's Pisces, and there's the control. It's a turning energy. <clears throat> Put in the comment box below if you're on your second Saturn return, first or second Saturn return, you would be about 30 on your first, you'd be about my age on your second, which is about 57. You're defeating this devil. I mean, you, you, it's like you're doing, like I said, not only with love, but with others' helps. With, with others' helps. <laughs> with others' help. Yeah. Balancing out those scales, Earth Angel. Making things fair. Even if you got to do it in a strong arm kind of way, and I do feel like that's what's going on here. So... Okay, how do I want to explain this? All right, so say you're dreaming, right? You're just dreaming. Yeah, I got to sit, you know, that that rule number 10 on my reels, uh, on my Instagram, if you want to check it out, where Vin Diesel goes, rule number 10. If they stand behind you, protect them. If they stand beside you, respect them 
And if they stand against you, show them no mercy. And I'm getting like a real strong arm here from you, Pisces, of protection of other people in the dream realm. Not here on earth because lots of people fight that protection. They don't realize that you're doing this for the good of all, not just for yourself. I mean, if you were just doing it for yourself, you wouldn't have to fight all these demons. You would just have to fight your own demons. These are other people's demons. Like people who have wished ill will on you or something like that. Now they're now their demons are coming out to play and they popping in your dreams. And so like I said, this is this is like a strong arm of this energy where you're making it, making it balance itself out. You they don't have any whoever these people, they don't have any choice because you have tamed and defeated a beast here. So, like I said, what I'm what I'm seeing in my mind's eye is you standing there ready. No matter what your outside looks like, this is like your inside. Ready for battle. All right? And you're standing there like this, and you're watching... Your loved ones, you're watching people you care about get knocked around and, and uh, by this demon that is basically coming after you. So it's going through your family, your whole lineage. It, it's, it's going through everybody that it can go through till it gets to you. And then it understands that its magic and its and its and its manipulation isn't working because Pisces is simply like this, you know. We are the rebel to the end. <laughs> That's why Jesus was a Pisces. Um and and this thing comes at you in the stream. And you're seeing it just knock people out the way. Like, you're not seeing it, though. It's it's like an invisible force field, like an invisible field that is just whoosh. And it comes at you, Pisces. And you catch it. It took everything you got to catch this thing. It took everything. And you're standing there holding on to it. And you rear back. And you go whoosh. Alright, that's just a picture in my head again. Maybe I watch too many Marvel movies. <laughs> but that's what I'm getting here. Like, it's like... Me? No, bitch, it's not me. It's gonna be you. Because I've been, I've been suiting up for this my entire life. And, and no matter what you threw at me, no matter how heartbroken I was, no matter what happened, I remain faithful to my heart. You're letting go of being stuck in your head about anything right now. You're cutting out the things that no longer serve you, that, that you no longer feel connected to. So you can have... The facts, the truth about possibly a family, a family line. So, and somebody who really truly loves you here. As you let go and release this Eight of Swords, Pisces, because you're understanding more what this is Eight, Nine, Ten of Swords, you are understanding what this is now. It is, it is an energy outside of you. It is not something that, that you created. It is a battle that you've been going through probably most of your life. And now you understand why. Because you were always meant to do battle with whatever this demon is, whatever this nightmare is. You were always meant to do battle with it. 
even if that meant one continuous nightmare throughout your entire life. And trust me, I can relate to that. One after another since I was a kid. There is an offer coming in here, Pisces. You're just not sure about. And here comes that tower again. You may meet somebody, Pisces could be a Gemini or a Taurus, that you're just not sure about, Pisces. I feel like you took on this responsibility like a mama bear, like you like an energy of a mama bear. It's like you don't understand my spiritual strength here, bitches. Okay? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Somebody got a tower here when they tried you. All right, I'm just going to say that. You are in your masculine energy, male or female. Your boss energy. You're masculine. But like I said, you're doing it with love. You're fighting a battle, all right. Because they're coming after you. Either by words, actions, and you're standing there like a boss. Holding all these wands. Wishing a bitch would. Standing in your spiritual strength and knowing what wands belong to you and what don't. And releasing those that don't. And standing firm in protecting what you love. King of Cups. You might not say it. You might not tell. This could be your mom. Of children I mean there's 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 I feel like there's children here and you standing up to protect them and it's usually like a cancer energy but I feel like it's coming from you Pisces you protecting And you'll carry them if necessary. If these are your children, Pisces, I understand. I feel like you're blowing shit up left and right. You got, you got some magic man stuff going on here. It's like you get from went from a five of pentacles to six of pentacles in one fell swoop because the sun came out. You magically made shit happen. Magically made shit happen. Went after what you want. And like I said, it, it it's to the point where it's come down to earth and you're, you're ready to spin the wheel, Pisces. You ain't scared of nothing. I mean, if you're on a public platform to where you might have used to hide... You're not doing it anymore. And it's got people freaking out. Like I said, possibly a family worried about, maybe worried about you. But they need not fret because you got this. Even if you don't see it at the moment. It's like, if I have to, I'll carry you over this line, over this ascension. You're drawing a line in the sand, Pisces, and you're not backing down. No matter what. Now, with Scorpio is speaking their truth, no matter what, with you, it's like... Bitch, I ain't backing down from you, whoever you are. Um, this is, like I said, this has haunted you long enough. Now you've turned your, instead of turning your back on it, you've turned around and you've chose to wrestle it until it balances itself out. I feel like, I feel like you're turning around and you're going, yeah. <laughs> Pisces isn't, isn't usually like that 
but they can be passive aggressive you know which means that they will take it take it take it take it till they snap and this is this is a snap but it's not it's not like it's not like it usually is where you've you don't know where your honor force and protection is at but here you do you know where it's at you got it on you and you're using it oh i bet they're not liking us very much oh well uh, i'm saying they be just the dark energies they'll get over it this person is definitely stalking you. There is no question about it. You may have just found out about it. Or you have caused an ending in this person's life. Due to wrestling that demon to the ground. It's the end of a marriage, the end of a home life, because you have left this demon no other choice but to show itself. Hmm. You called it out. You called this energy out. You said, let me see you. And you put it to its knees, Pisces. This is quite a, um, a badge of honor, I should say. <laughs> Somebody tried to stop a union here between you and someone else. One big happy family. They tried to hurt you. They tried to stop you from your happily ever after. And when they now they now they know that they can't. Now it's their turn to lose sleep. It's their turn to fight their demon. Because whatever's happened here, the truth has been exposed on how you were hurt on purpose. Maybe somebody even paid. You're going to find out about this. Somebody wanted to hang on to something here. And it could be some kind of a family um, lineage or it's a surprise. It's a shock. I'm just saying. I don't even think you knew this existed. Especially Ten of Cups in the Sun. But defending in, in honor and, and in love of possibly an entire family, an entire family line. And it comes down to you, Pisces. The last fig leaf has been exposed. And I feel like you're gonna you're gonna fight for this no matter what. You're gonna fight. You're not gonna let other things stand in the way of your truth. So I got the nine of swords and the ace of swords, Pisces. Like I said, this is this is dreams. This is. This is battling in your dreams with that sort of truth because you you refuse to back down from what is true for you. You refuse to back down. Knight of Cups again to the Nine of Pentacles. So we got nine, nine, nine. This is gonna be wrapped up because you forced whatever this is with your sword of truth to face its own shadow. Now they see you, 
possibly getting into a relationship or moving into some kind of a, an emotional offer. If you're single, this could be somebody who's coming towards you to tell you they love you. I do see it resulting in a contract or marriage by the end of this reading. I don't, I don't go past three months, guys. This is probably started in June. And it will continue for the rest of the year, most likely. What is the Six of Wands? Six of Wands to the Temperance. Like I said, I feel like that's an earth angel taking dark energy and just going, Rah! throwing it. After, after it whooshes by and knocks down a whole bunch of people. You know what that means, yep. You win, Pisces. Five of Swords. I was just asking what that was. You win. You did the work. You're going to win over whatever this is. This fight. This battle. You have been working for lifetimes to get here where you're at right now. To be able to take on this uh, this energy. So maybe for generations, there's been a problem with love here. And, and somebody thought they could keep you single if you're single. And here's another nine. So that's nine, 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 nine. Mm -mm. And ten, ten, ten. This is over. This battle, you won. You might be all scraped up. You might be missing a shoe. You might be missing an earring. You might be missing a few things. And y'all beat up. But you win. Over this death. Page of Swords, somebody who's watching you. Somebody's watching you beat this. And it's going to be very rewarding. There's the other 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. If this is just one round, Pisces, you've won it. It is a proverbial death and a rebirth. You won. What is this Four of Cups and Eight of Swords about, Spirit? What is this Four of Cups and this Eight of Cup, Eight of Swords about? Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. So maybe you were stuck financially. That's what you let go of. Because you knew everything would work out just fine. As long as you stuck to the facts and stood in your truth. Like I said, cutting out what no longer serves, which is these demons that have been following you around most of your life. Now who's get left out in the cold by the high priestess? Because the high priestess knows. Whoever these cold cut off people were that tried to possibly take something that belonged to you are now feeling the results of their uh, actions. The consequences. The consequences of betraying a high priestess. Like I said, it could be family, it could be friends, it could be relatives, uh, you know, acquaintances, it could be anybody that's been doing this to you, Pisces. And I feel like they've been doing it for a very long time. They may have even followed you into this life. This is a real demon. Like, 
something attached to your family line. And if you're like me, family is dropping out like flies. All right. You don't see whatever this is in your in your now time or you're refusing to see it for what it is because you're a little bit afraid of it. Don't be afraid of your own power, Pisces. You are a very, very powerful being. And, and what you're doing here is for your children, your children's children. It's not just for you. Keep in the faith, no matter what you can, can't see. Are you, are you sitting possibly in heartbreak over love? Yeah. Yeah. But right now, your job is a little bigger than just this. It's bigger than your own disappointment and heartbreak. This is about your whole line after you. Your bloodline after you, whether it's your brothers, kids, or I feel like there's a mother, motherly protection of children here. And that energy is super, super strong with that Hierophant. Understand how strong you are here, Pisces, and what you can and cannot do. Because the minute, the, the, I don't feel like it's, that there's anything you can't do here. I just think that maybe you're stuck in a dream loop. A continual cycle of a dream loop. And that loop is about to be closed once and for all. You're going to turn around, you're going to face it, you're going to tackle it. And that dream loop, loop will close itself because you took a risk. You took a leap of faith. And your faith is what's keeping you upright. You may have taken a couple of financial hits too. Like I said, we were all in a timeline jump on the July on July fourth. Uh, so wait for it. It's coming, Pisces. Something that's going to allow you there's that cancer energy. Something that's going to allow you to drop those wands and not have to carry them all the way up to the tower ever again. Shwing! Got the Ace of Wands. So I was like, <laughs> I was watching another reader and then they got it too for the outcome. And I'm like thinking, does that mean I'm getting late? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, it's a real struggle out here, <laughs> being single. <laughs> um, so whatever's coming towards you, Pisces, is fair to you. It's fair to you. It's a brand new beginning from an ending. From the, from the wands that you carried this whole time, in honor, protection, power, spirit, it's what you deserve. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Because this battle was brutal. It was brutal. But look at it. Earth Angel. Brutal battle. You win. Even if it doesn't feel like you've won anything. I feel like you may have won your sovereignty, which is kind of a big deal. Sovereignty from family hexes, family curses, um, all the nasties that come with, uh, with lineages that you had nothing to do with. Think about World War, you know, a couple of times. You are even healing that. 
So this is lifetimes upon lifetimes and something that's been in your line for a long time. Something of suffering. A jinn. That somebody may or may not, well, I do feel like somebody did, and you're either your family line or in uh, your spouse's family line that causes suffering. Needless suffering. You're about to find out who they are because Pisces, you're going to get some unexpected income here. Somebody's looking for you. They're looking for a child. Two, two, three, two. Eight, one, one. Whoa, one, eight, eight, one, one. Damn. Look up that number. I feel like it's significant. Really significant. One, eight, eight, one, one. I don't have any idea what that means. Too many eights, too many ones. That was one eight one or just eight one one. I could give you a heads up, but there's something very distinct going on here. And somebody knows that somebody knows you know the truth. Somebody who's been hiding behind some kind of mask. They know you know the truth. You are the daughter or son of a certain person here. That somebody tried to hide from you because of that. All right? Somebody tried to hide this from you, Pisces, because you might be heir to a fortune. You might you you might have somebody hid this from you, Pisces. They wanted to see you suffer. They wanted to see you financially strapped. They wanted to see you beneath them because that's where they were comfortable with you. And now you are going past and above them due to your courage, your bravery, your gung ho ness about bitches. <laughs> Even in your dreams. So even in your dreams, you are protecting other people and yourself. You're a dream warrior. And for that, you will greatly benefit, whether you see it right now or not. I'm, I'm feeling like, and I'm, I'm going to say this even though I have no idea, but I feel like you're going to see it between the 8th and the 18th, or the 11th and the 18th of August. Maybe even the Lion's Gate, which is on 8 8. It's a portal. So I feel like there will be like a reckoning at that portal. And it's almost like the Highlander type energy. There can be only one. You will be the victor here. Wow. What an intense reading. Um, let's get some healing waters messages and some Isis mess messages. Oh, mighty Isis. I was invited to a place in Hawaii where they, they she said they got this goddess this goddess volcano thing. I want to check it out. Hawaii's not far from here, and it's not really that expensive of a, of a trip. Especially if I get a place to go while I'm there. I don't know. I'd rather stay in a hotel. I mean, it's fun to visit people, but I, I, I got to have my, my space. My energy has to be separate a lot of times from other people. Otherwise, I get caught up in their drama, and I don't. I can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. All right, so let's see what the healing waters got to say to my Pisces. Let it rain. Let it go. Let it rain. Let it go. 
and follow this dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <laughs> wow, this is this is quite the reading here, guys. Okay, so let it rain, allowing what is inevitable, and inevitability, allowing what is inevitability. Okay, so an ending taking place you're allowing it you're releasing it you're trusting in spirit here let it go let it go can't hold it back anymore release the past forgive what does that say soften and moving forward. So your rigidness, Pisces, any any rigidity that you're experiencing right now, you're releasing that and flowing. Dedication, trust, future. What does that say? Future rivers and oceans. You're flowing to your future with gratitude, appreciating what's sustaining you. So by appreciating, by, by attitude of gratitude here, no matter what these things that are being brought to the surface are, are looking like, even if they're demons, you're grateful for the lesson. You're trusting in spirit here. To pot the seas, look. To allow you to have the power to pot those seas by letting go and flowing in forgiveness and being grateful for the lessons. You are a warrior. You're a spiritual warrior. And you took these lessons on with a knowing that you had to get through them. Like I said, somebody was afraid you were going to find something out, and you did. You looked into it, and you did. You found out that you was this empress all along. You were just defending a castle you didn't know you had. Divine sun child and magic and ritual. Did you do your moon magic, Pisces? Good for you. All right, so blessings of blessings of the sun flow to you now. It is time to allow your life for, to flourish without limits. To let your light burn bright and without veil. Just like that, just like the midsummer sun burning without contest in the Egyptian, Egyptian desert, it is your time to shine bright. There's a light out there with your name on it, Pisces. Magic and ritual. Effect in the external world can be created through inner practice. Heart-centered heart ritual can support your inner path, your integrity. In the physical world, you are encouraged to enhance your, enhance your power with regular practice. Keep practicing, Pisces, so you can take that dough and just throw him out your way. All right? As you grow in grace, love, ability, and wisdom, applying your inner beauty to transform your outer world. I couldn't have thought of a better way to end, end that reading. That was just perfect. It was perfect. You are what you've been waiting for, Pisces. You're your own savior, savior and you're here to help others as well. 
find their savior, their truth, their justice, so they can charge with you in these chariots and win whatever battle you are all fighting at this time. Because you up, angel. And that's what you came here for. All right? Well, those are your messages, my baby shocks. Um, if you'd like a private reading, please see the box below. All my information is there. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Until then, take care. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye for now.